Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a hospital pharmacist and my current position is a float pharmacist, meaning I float around different areas of the hospital depending on where they need me. For today's video, this is a full day in the life of a hospital pharmacist working the central IV shift. So I usually set my alarm for 5 But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the heart of shame I wish I knew Between the hours of 7 in the morning and 8 o'clock in the morning, I'll be verifying all the inpatient orders for the entire hospital, complete any prior off drug requests from the providers, and complete any pharmacy consults like vancomycin or TPNs. At 7.35 is our inpatient huddle in which you know all the pharmacists and central pharmacy and all the technicians and our supervisors meet in the morning. We'll go over anything pertinent like any medication shortages that we need to be aware of, any inventory issues that need to be resolved, if there's any call outs. At 8.35 we'll have another huddle but this one's for all the inpatient pharmacists in the entire hospital. So everyone like medicine, ICU, psych, all the different areas of inpatient pharmacy we will be meeting via Teams. At 10 o'clock is when we print the batch labels. All these labels are for scheduled antibiotics or scheduled medications that need to be compounded by the central pharmacy. And these batch labels are all antibiotics or medications that are scheduled between the hours of 3 and 3. So 3 p.m. and 3 a.m. So we'll prepare all those labels and have the technician make the medications and I'll prepare the ones that are you know, easy pre-made mat bags that I can just slap on the labels. And then we'll send those out. Now, in addition to time-sensitive tasks, there's also tasks that we have to do throughout the day. So for one example is chemos. We are in constant communication with the Heme On Clinic and they will tell us via Teams when a patient arrives to the clinic and we need to make the infusion in a timely manner. So first I'll print off the label, uh, print the calculation sheet that helps the technician you know, make the correct calculations and what to input and helps me check it correctly too. Hand the label and the calculation sheet to our technician, grab the vial if they don't have it already in the IV room, and check to make sure that they compound it correctly once it's done, and then we'll have our Hemon tech deliver it. Periodically throughout the day, we're also interrupted with constant phone calls. They can be questions from nursing, they could be questions from the doctors, figuring out how to order a medication, or if there's any issues like a crash card's been used and needs to be replaced, so we'll triage those issues. Also, periodically throughout the day, we'll be checking anesthesia trays. Um, those are checked daily, so our technician would go to the OR and if there's any used trays, they'll bring it back, replenish the supply, and then we have to check and make sure every single medication that they restocked in there is correct, none of them is expired, and that they are all correct medications that are, should be in the OR trays. 
And like I mentioned earlier, the crash carts. So if patient codes and a crash cart has been used and opened, um, we would have our technician go and grab the used crash cart, we have that replaced, and bring back the old crash cart, replenish everything. And again, for us, we have to double check the work and make sure that it was um, everything is correct and nothing is expired in there. And around 12 is when I usually take my lunch. And the day ends at 3.30, which I love. I love ending the day at a pretty <laughs> decent time. It's very early, the sun's still up. Still a lot of time to get things done. Sometimes feeling in a good mood, I'll just stop by Trader Joe's, go on a Trader Joe's run, get myself some flowers, do a little grocery shopping. By the time I arrive home, it'll usually be about 4 p.m. And between the hours of 4 to 6 is when I'll just relax, maybe eat a snack or two, edit some videos, or just watch some YouTube and TikTok and relax. And 7 to 8 o'clock is when I go to the gym. And about 10.30 is when I'll usually try to wind down and go to bed. And I try to make myself read a few chapters of a book. Um, at night. So currently I'm reading Atomic Habits. I highly, highly recommend. 